Okay, we've got Zuva Contracts AI. That's dead simple to use. Let's see. Uh, I, like always, I'm trying this out for the very first time with you all. So <clears throat> I'm going to use a vendor supplier contract uh, terms. Uh, basically, this is the M&A or master service agreement that I've been using to test out other ones. Let's see what it tells me. This is a pretty standard MSA. Okay, it took about 37 seconds for this to uh, compile. It did OCR, which took the longest, probably about uh, 20 seconds to do. Um, so uh, let's see what I'm supposed to do here. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what this is telling me. Okay, okay, so, <clears throat> all right, I got it now. So basically this drop down menu has, it has categorized the different sections of the contract. So uh, as you can see, it's pulled out all of these categories. Uh, some are grayed out. So I'm assuming it did not find any language uh, associated with those. Uh, let's look and see sort of what service level language there is. Page three and page 14. It takes me directly to that. Uh, Perhaps I want to know governing law. So it tells me state of Illinois. All right. Um, let's see if there is arbitration versus going to litigation. So there is binding arbitration. Um, Chicago, either party may invoke this. So really interesting. Um, basically, what this is showing me is my ability to navigate a contract. I don't see an opportunity to interpret it. Um, or to use converted to natural language or, or plain language rather. Uh, this is basically digesting a large contract. This is 21 pages and surfacing the major uh, categories, topics in it, and then pulling that out so I can review that immediately. It could be very, very useful, especially with large uh, contracts. Think of this as instead of like doing a find function, find and replace function, in your word processing, this is uh, a quicker, easier way to do that theoretically. Now, I don't think that I can change this uh, in any way. Let me see. So yeah, basically you can change the fields. You can teach it different fields. And I'm assuming that these are the, yeah, these are the fields up here. So this is what you started with. I assume once you sign up for an account, you can start to train it on your specific contract language, best practices, uh, the words you use, um, and give it some texture and content for how to interpret those categories. So you can review your own contracts, but then when you receive changes or edits from the other parties, uh, this might be able to detect uh, what categories have been changed, uh, where they may have uh, talked about a category uh, in a non-specific way, right? So if there's something related to termination that is not necessarily called out explicitly in the termination and term section, uh, <clears throat> this might have uh, an easy way of locating that. So interesting. I definitely see some utility to this. Uh, I don't live in the contract management world, so I'm sure those that do um, we'll have very strong opinions to this, uh, positive or negative. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. But anyway, this is Zuva, a uh, contract AI that's dead simple to use. And I agree, it was dead simple for me to upload. Didn't take that much time. Um, and then really for it to digest the contract. And that's it.